So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, Ellen, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. And we about to get into some scary compilations, bro. Shout out to Bizarre Bub. You be coming through with some of the crazy... I don't even know where they be finding this stuff at, man. But they be... I don't know if it's Reddit. I still got to get over to Reddit, bro. I, I, I keep saying that, but I'm not like a... a uh, like an experienced person over there so I, i've been over there once maybe twice but i still don't know the layout over there reddit but i gotta get over there but i, I think that's where some of this stuff be coming from it gotta be somewhere crazy though it it, it, it is it gotta be somewhere crazy but we're gonna get into this video man this is scary compilation 47 if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button and before you hit that subscribe button no no you can do it after. Yeah, yeah. I prefer you go ahead and do that now. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And now set the mood. That means dim the lights and make sure the house is secure. Kick back. And let's check out some of this creepy stuff. The following footage was posted by Rochelle G, who had caught something disturbing while exploring an abandoned house. The house used to belong to a happily wed couple who were known as the Evan Roots. But then one night, Something very tragic happened to the couple. Mr. and Mrs. Evanroot were relaxing at home when out of nowhere, an intruder breaks in and kills them both. The couple's family was devastated upon hearing about this. They decided to not sell the house out of respect for the couple. But after a while... Scariest thing that, that, that I worry about, bro. And this goes into not even see, see how the stuff we watch coincide with the unsolved and the solved mystery cases and stuff like that. And then you have the, the scary videos and stuff like that too, how they all mesh together. Now you see the method to the madness, bro. Because that's one of the scariest things ever, man. And if you have grandparents, you worry and, and you think about stuff like that. Are they able to defend themselves? Probably not. They're old. They're, they're not able to move as fast. And you start thinking about, and you don't want to, but it's in your mind because you worry, man. And that, that, like a person like that to do something like that to an older couple, man, I, I can't even let y'all know what goes through my mind that I be wanting done. You know what I'm saying? Because of I get in trouble. But just know, bro, that teased me off for real. The couple's family was devastated upon hearing about this. They decided to not sell the house out of respect for the couple. But after a while, they decided to rent out the property. However, renters complained of strange occurrences, some of which are just creepy. From drastic temperature changes to seeing shadow-like figures standing outside their window, renters had enough reason to leave the place. The uh, a few things. One, you don't think that couple's souls are not at rest? No, especially not if that dude who did it isn't caught or something, they're not at rest. Two, I want I wonder if the couple was the the information was disclosed to them before them renting, before them entering into a lease. I wonder if that information of the couple, the the elderly couple being slain in that place was ever, you know, that information was ever divulged to them. I, I that's something I would I would definitely want to know. The house has been abandoned ever since. That is until Rochelle goes inside and begins to record. She hopes to capture footage of the strange occurrences reported by tenants. But little does she know that something very unsettling would be caught on camera. This is what she caught. Look at this place. Wow. Look at it. Ooh, I bet it smells horrible. Oh, it's mold all throughout it. That's another thing I ain't never think about too, man. A lot of people be doing these, these um, paranormal investigation in these places, man. And a lot of these places could could subject y'all to mold, man, and do things to mess your, mess with your health. So y'all be careful with some of that too. I 
they should have got like a temperature check right there. I wonder if it's like that's a cold spot in the house because that's where it happened at. It was creepy and I'm not even there. Rochelle continues to explore, but something downright creepy is caught on camera without her noticing. Be sure to pay close attention or you'll miss it. I saw the hand. I saw the hand. As Rochelle pans the camera to the door, a silhouette of what appears to be a hand can be seen in the corner. It is only seen for about a second before quickly disappearing behind the doorway. Rochelle walks over to where the hand was spotted, but when she gets there, the space is empty. Now that's creepy. Now what's even more unsettling about this is the fact that the hand appears at the spot where Miss Evanrude had been found dead. Could it be that Miss Evanrude's apparition was caught on camera? Or was something else caught instead? Perhaps this might have been a squatter who was spying on Rochelle, Could but given that the space where they were seen is cornered with no exit, it isn't certain as to what exactly was captured. One thing's for sure though, Rochelle doesn't plan on coming back to this place, as what was seen on footage has left her spooked. I mean, do you blame her? This next video was posted on YouTube in 2010. However, the channel on which the video was uploaded has been deleted for unknown reasons. The video shows footage of an 8mm film. Now at first glance, the footage appears to be normal, but there's actually something very odd about this clip. The person who uploaded the video states that his dad had found this footage in his garage. His father states that his dad had shot this video at a secluded forest during a family trip. It was shot 40 years ago, and it was just recently that he noticed something strange in the footage. According to him, an old lady appears in the background. Yet, he is certain that no one was there at the time of this recording. After all, the video was taken in a secluded forest with no one else around. Take a look at this clip and see what you think. Duff. And see the crazy thing about it is they didn't even acknowledge her. So that makes that that makes me further think that they didn't see it. it was something paranormal style because they didn't look to see. You know what I'm saying? If you walk past someone and you walk in and you, they're standing there staring at you, you kind of glance over and look at them. You know what I mean? Some would acknowledge. But they didn't do any of that. Look at that clip again. Nobody did. Kids looked at her, the, the girl walking with them, the, the family, and the other clip. That's crazy. That's crazy. In the background, there appears to be someone standing not too far from the family. They seem to be observing the family while standing completely still which makes them come off even more creepy. Thanks. Because of this, the father thinks that a ghost was caught on camera instead of a person. But of course, it's not certain if that's the case. I think it's the case because they clearly can't see her. Until we know what exactly was caught on camera, the footage remains a mystery. That's Had a ghost been caught on tape? Or 
was something else caught instead. That's creepy. That's creepy. The following video doesn't have much info, but like with most videos, this one speaks for itself. The video starts off with two employees who appear to be working late at night. One of them, who's named Curtis, states that the building at which they work is haunted. Lots of strange occurrences have taken place inside this building, but it's the second floor where most activity occurs. As Curtis talks to his co-worker, a strange noise is heard on the second floor. Knowing that one of them would eventually have to check out the noise, Curtis volunteers to go upstairs. But, as soon as he arrives, he seems to regret the fact that he chose to go alone. It isn't clear why Curtis brought a camera with him, but it might be that he wanted to capture footage of something paranormal, considering that the building is said to be haunted. As Curtis walks around the floor, he captures this. Look in the room to the left. As soon as he passes by, it looks like somebody just staring there. Like, standing there with like a death look. You can't really see because they're blacked out, but you can see they're, they're, they're just standing in there. Sort of like the Grim Reaper or something. Right about now. Right there. Somebody just standing there. Would that be considered to be death standing there? Is that death standing? It appears that Curtis has caught someone or something hiding inside one of the rooms. It wasn't until later that he noticed the dark figure when looking back at the footage. What makes this even more creepy is that whatever this was had vanished before Curtis walked inside to check the room. Just like viewers, Curtis has no idea as to who or what this could have been. And the window was closed, so you would have had to, that person went out the window, you'd have had to hear that window somewhat open, right? You would think. Now this wasn't the only thing that was caught on camera. Curtis had caught something else without even noticing. Early in the video, as he passes by a door, there appears to be another figure hiding from Curtis. Could this have too. been the same figure from before? Or was it just a piece of furniture? It's unclear as to what this might have been, but because this place is believed to be haunted, it might be something else. But of course, feel free to share what you think. What exactly had Curtis caught on camera? If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Maria Flores had posted the following video and states that the footage isn't hers, but rather someone else's. According to her, someone had sent her the video with very little information. Now the video itself is pretty creepy. The person who sent it states that their sister-in-law was recording a video at a carnival in Africa. However, something very strange was caught on camera by the sister-in-law who shot this. It wasn't until later that she noticed what she had caught. Pay very close attention to this one, or you'll miss it. I missed it. I missed it. Where is that? I missed it. What? I totally missed that. I didn't, it was too much going on in the picture. Anyway, if you caught that, kudos to you. You have the eye of the, 
I don't know, Tiger, whatever. <laughs> but, yo, look, the eyes are black. Everybody else's eyes aren't like that. Face isn't like that. Everybody somewhere has color to them. This person is grayed out, hair, eyes are black, 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 like devilishly black. Could be like some time travel stuff right there in the background among the crowd a faint image of what appears to be an apparition is caught on camera as you can imagine the sister-in-law who shot this must have been left disturbed upon seeing this but if there's one thing she's sure of it's that this video still keeps her up at night The following video was shot by Sierra Rose, who had paid a visit to an abandoned asylum. According to her, there was an overwhelming sensation of sadness and dread that she and her boyfriend felt while exploring the place. She also adds that they felt an intense energy surrounding them. The footage shot by Sierra might just prove that there was something there with them. This is what she caught. Look at this place here. Vandals done and tore this place down. I'm freaking out. I'd be freaking out too. Y'all ain't got enough light. Look at that. Shadows everywhere. That could have been somebody in their group, though. The shadow-like apparition is seen moving on camera. The figure moves from left to right before quickly disappearing. Sierra believes that a ghost was caught on camera. Viewers think so too, but as with most videos, it's not certain if that's the case. Yeah, because she only gave us like a little half turn towards the walk. She just spent all the way around so we could have seen that it was nobody behind her walking through. Then I'd have been like, all right. It's, it's just got real. <laughs> As always, I leave it to you to come up with your own conclusion on this footage. Rewatch the clip and see what you think. The following image was submitted by Tulsa Polk, who writes, A really good friend of mine had sent me this photo, but I kind of wish they hadn't because I can't stop thinking about it. The photo they sent me shows two friends who are posing in front of a camera. If you look really closely behind them, you will see the part of the picture that I can't stop thinking about. Here's the photo that was sent to Tulsa. Holy sh... Oh, I don't know, that's Chucky doll? As with most images, this one doesn't have much info, but it seems pretty obvious as to what's happening in the picture. However, I have no explanation for whatever this is. It's hard to make out what this is, but it seems that a bodiless head had been caught in the background. This might be due to pareidolia, but the more you look at it, the more it seems like an actual head. I've seen some pareidolia, but that looks like a face that's looking up towards them. Look at the eyes. Looks like the eyes are like kind of looking up towards where they where their head are. Uh -uh. I don't know, but whatever this is, it's pretty creepy. If this is- Even if that's the, a little brother or cousin of theirs, it's still creepy that he looked like that. In the stuff of nightmares, then I don't know what is. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy- Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's enough craziness for the night. <laughs> that's, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that last picture, crazy. That first story with the, the older couple who were slain and and that house, man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
no, 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 man. Listen, y'all make sure y'all be safe tonight. Make sure y'all keep the windows and the doors locked. You know what I mean? Turn on your alarm systems. And uh, yeah, don't try to cut the TV up so it's, it it uh, drowns out any creaking noises that you got in your house. I know how y'all operate, bro. <laughs> I know what y'all be doing, all right? And y'all get at me in the next one. All right, it's your boy L. Stick around and stay tuned, man. I'm gone. Peace.